We don't often hear engineering talked about in high schools as much as it should be. Engineering is a really great way for people who are interested in science and math to take the skills and take the things that they're passionate about and really make a difference. Engineering brings such amazing people, such bright, smart people who have so much charisma, so much motivation to do something good in this world, to do something productive. Anything that you look at, engineers have touched. It has so many wide applications and there's such a wide variety of areas that you can go into. Engineering is a great place for any person, regardless of gender, regardless of race, regardless of age. While they don't have to necessarily be geniuses in those areas, they do have to have a love for math and science and somewhat of an aptitude in order to be successful here. I was really good at math, really good at sciences. I really wanted to design and create and use like my talents in like math and science to really use it on a practical level rather than a theoretical level. You can learn the language of engineering, how to draw, how to do the math, all those things, that would be the language, but it's the creativity that's really important. It's whether they understand the concepts and can they take those concepts and think about how to apply them. Need to explore and be curious, that's the fun part. They have to be part accountant, they have to be part lawyer, they have to be part environmental steward, they have to be part scientist. Some of the problems that previously were not possible to solve are now possible because we have high-tech methods and engineers are asking the questions utilizing high-tech tools. We've got the option to do things like biomedical engineering now where people are exploring and expanding the realm of engineering quite a bit. That's pretty exciting to me. To actually see an idea through to creation of an actual physical product, that's really the key to engineering is to be able to be involved in the entire process. I look forward to being involved with projects that are going to make a difference in people's lives. I had a really great experience in this faculty. There is so much going on and it has so much to offer. Really enjoyed all the classes and sort of the applied aspect of it all. Because we have a more intimate faculty in the sense that it's not as big as some of the others, I'd actually say that's one of our strengths. Knowing that the class sizes are fairly small and that you're actually forming an engineering community was something that was really appealing to me. When speaking with professors, you can tell that they want you to succeed and they like when students show that they're taking initiative. The best uh, academics in terms of their reputation and international recognition. Chairs and vice chairs in international recognized divisions they have very good industrial experience and industrial connections and of course the knowledge of our faculty members allow us to serve our community much better. Our brand new engineering building is state of the art. It's nice to be able to go into a classroom to teach and do your job with the most modern technology that's out there. A lot of professors in their research labs, they include undergraduate students into their research throughout the four years or five years that they are in the undergraduate program. There's a lot of research going on that's very interesting that you get to absorb the newer things that are being developed. We're constantly offering new courses here and changing what is offered because of that graduate program that's here. I think everyone who is involved in a student group in engineering here doesn't regret it. When you get a group of civil engineering and I suppose other engineering students as well together, make yourself up a 200 pound concrete toboggan, go down the hill at 60 kilometers an hour with your four favorite friends. We have a formula team, a formula race car, a formula hybrid, which is a hybrid version of the, a very similar competition, a Baja, a sort of dune buggy racer. We have an aero, a model airplane that lifts a maximum weight, and then a micro aero, we are working on an aircraft that we designed in the fall and we're competing in an international competition with teams from all over the world, India, all over the United States, Canada. An excellent opportunity, any of these extracurricular groups that people have where you're able to meet new friends, find a way to have fun but then at the same time practice some of the things that you've been learning. The experience you get is actually appreciated and recognized within the industries. It really helps getting a job given your UMSAE involvement. I went with Engineers Without Borders. 
we have a chapter here at the U of M. I had learnt amazing things and been able to test the engineering skills that I had learned and I was eager to come back and share my experiences with everyone. Because engineering teaches you how to problem solve. It teaches you how to look at a problem and say, I have these things at my disposal and this is how I can build a solution for it. All the engineering students at the University of Manitoba have the opportunity to participate in cooperative studies suited to fit the industry they want to work in. It allows them to understand more about being a professional, more about what the obligations of an engineer are, more about how exciting that their work life can be. The co-op program was fantastic. I, I couldn't recommend it more. It's companies that are looking to hire somebody over the long term, full time. It was a great opportunity to actually apply some of the things that I learned, make a bit of cash, and, uh, and get a sense of what I wanted to do once I graduated. I did mine at Bristol Aerospace, working on the satellites that they're designing. I got experience in industry before I actually graduated, and now I, I can't imagine graduating without it. The Friends of Engineering are a unique group of industry leaders in the province of Manitoba. They're made up primarily of engineering professionals, many of whom actually graduated from our program here at the University of Manitoba. They have made themselves available to mentor our students. They put on several events throughout the year designed specifically to connect with our students, to help us with respect to our curriculum, make sure that our curriculum is relevant, and that we are producing graduates that are capable of uh, performing in their industries uh, the way that they need them to. It's to help give the student a leg up, help integrate them into their business environment quicker, make sure they know what they're getting into, an avenue for them to connect with industry people. I love this place. I feel like I've been able to call this place my home for the last five years. The ring is the prize you get. It's a Canadian thing. You know, engineers across the world don't have it. It's symbolic in hard work that we've done, saying you are part of this exclusive club. I'm very excited to get my iron ring and work in industry. I'm graduating with the aerospace option, so I'm hoping to work in the aerospace industry. To begin here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, start off in a world-class career. We've seen that happen. Being able to help someone and being able to know that your work will make a difference, and engineering definitely offers that opportunity.